guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I am going to be continuing my YouTube series, and if you have not seen my first video to my YouTube series, I will link that down below, and also the playlist to my YouTube series. Um, but this next chapter in the YouTube series is how to make banners, and I get so many questions on banners, so I figured why not just, you know, make a video for you guys. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there, right there, and then also to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any more YouTube inspired videos that you guys want to see that might help you guys out with your YouTube channels or starting a YouTube channel or just YouTube in general. So yes, want to find out how to make a YouTube banner, then keep on watching. Make this channel art right here. And first, what you have to do is go to YouTube.com. Then once you're at this page right here, you're going to click up here in the right corner, and you're going to go to Creator Studio, or you can simply go to my channel. Then you're going to view your channel. Once you get in this spot, you're going to go up here into this corner and click Edit Channel Art. Now obviously we need to know the dimensions, so here under how to create a channel art, you can get a template that will help you. This is the template right here, so that's what it looks like. And you're going to need to download this one that has fireworks after it, not the Photoshop version. So you're just going to click on that and it's going to download onto your computer. So while it's downloading, we can simply go to pickmonkey.com, and that is what I use to make all of my thumbnails and channel art. You should be very familiar with these different, you know, buttons. This, you can make clear designs by themselves. You can do some touch-ups, you can do collages, and then you can also just edit a regular photo. So we're going to go here, and it went under here. So we're just going to click on that. And we're going to open it up. Now it's going to look like this at first. You want to make sure you stay in at least this is your safe zone right here. Um, if you go out here, you obviously have it for, you know, the TV is a whole box, and you have your desktop, your tablet, and then your, you know, desktop minimum and mobile. You can also use this for your um, thumbnails if you need to, if you don't know the exact size requirement. Now you're going to go over here to this little bar, and this is text. You should also be very familiar with these buttons here. So here I have multiple, multiple, um, lots and lots of text options. You can also click here and go through all of yours that are in your computer. So you have a very big variety of different fonts. You can also go online on this website right here, I will have it listed down below, that you can go ahead and download your own fonts. So the one I used in that channel art was um, Tall, Dark, and Handsome, and I love this font, and I'm just going to type in my username. You can also make this white or whatever color you want, and you just click off, click on, and then I'm going to make it this really pretty teal color that I love. Going to shrink it down a little bit, and then you can go ahead and make it big. Now you can go ahead and you can have it positioned the way you want. Um, it's going to get so annoying. Got on there to add the flowers. You're going to go here to the overlays, and they have multiple options to choose from. Some are free, some are not. It just kind of depends, but a lot of them are free. I'm just going to click here, and I'm going to add my own. Um, and then I have one right under here, under my overlays, Tumblr overlays, and I'm going to use these original ones. And it does show up black first, but the cool thing is I can go here to blend modes, and you can blend it in different ways. So I'm going to use this add, and it's going to turn them to where they're a white color. I'm going to position them in the way I want, and I want them to extend a little bit. So they go under, you know, my picture over here. So we're going to need a couple of these. And you're just going to go ahead and line them up the way you want them. Then you just keep adding them and keep doing the same technique until you have the amount that you want.
As you can see, some of these hang over, so you're just going to click on it and click Eraser. And you can just simply, you know, erase the bottom. Now that you have it erased and everything the way you want, you can just simply click on this, and you might, I do recommend clicking on the end if you can, or whatever letter is closer together, to where you can get a hold of this, you know, the text itself. And as you can see, it's very difficult. You might just have to move that out of the way so you can get a hold of this. I do recommend taking it out of the frame itself. Um, you will just place this back the way it was. And then you can just simply click up here and you can, you know, make the text just a little bit bigger. And then you can blend it in with this a little bit. Once that is done, um, if you are a style hall partner, you can also click here and just go to your um, go to your pictures. And I have mine all the way down here. Gonna find simply the one that you want. You can also look on Google for them. Um, most likely you will get it in your little package. And then you're just going to put it where you want it. So I want it over here. Shrink down just a little bit. Just so it's like under the name, but it's it's hidden to where you can't really tell. And then what I will do to get rid of um, the other stuff to where you don't see the background or the template, I'm going to go ahead and go over here to this little effects tool. It may have tons of effects to choose from, but I'm just going to go down here to this icon that says draw. And this is also how you do the drawing behind the letters for the thumbnails. You'll just simply turn it all the way down, put on the color you want, and then draw behind your lettering. So that's how we do that. Um, but that will be further explained in another video. But you're just going to simply click here, leave it on white, and get the biggest brush you can. And as you can see, the flowers do disappear just for a minute. They can disappear, and then they will reappear very soon. So you can leave it like that, you know, and then, or you can do a different color. But I'm going to... Go under the textures tab. You can, of course, add your own, or they have plenty to choose from. Um, I kind of wish I owned this one because I think that looks really cool, the brick wall. Um, but you have tons of different options. So if you did want to, you know, go this route, you could. But I'm just going to go back to draw, and I'm going to do black. Turn the brush up all the way. And then I'm going to do the black because it makes the teal or like the aqua stick out just a little bit more. And then there's our thumbnail. I mean, and then there's our channel art. So we're going to go here. Going to simply save it. Just going to save it under here. We're going to go vid sample. You're going to save it. Once it is saved, you just go here. And you will just simply, you know, click this if you did not get out of it. And then here I have all my channel art. Just click on this. Once it uploads, um, it should upload in the correct, you know, size that it needs to. You can also go here and adjust the uh, size if you need to. It just kind of depends on how you did your channel art. And then I didn't need to do anything, so this changes and then there is your finished channel art. So that is how I achieve this channel art. You can do the same process with any channel art out there um, that you want. And you can